ePlan Data Portal, if you go to our website, you can actually take a look under uh, Solutions, here, under uh, Electrical Engineering, under the last topic here, you can find the Data Portal. Data Portal is actually provided multiple uh, parts, uh, over 340,000 parts are actually provided uh, from all these different manufacturers. Now, uh, a look at the data portal itself is actually here. So you can actually take a look at the data portal itself. If you're looking for a part, you can actually go here and look for a specific part, let's say PowerFlex, and check out if that PowerFlex does exist. And you can see suddenly that, yes, it uh, comes up with a few different parts. And, uh, of course, you can browse down. And here we can find under PowerFlex over 1,583 parts that are related to the wording PowerFlex. Okay? Now, the point is, you can actually go also different. You can go uh, with a search that goes directly into the uh, different types of components, let's say a contactor. Then you can look for the different contactors and uh, see if that particular contactor is actually inside here. And any given contactor, you can actually add it to a shopping cart. Now, the shopping cart can be shared between an external uh, project leader, engineering manager, uh, salesman, and his electrical designer. On the ePlan side, you can have the same login name, and then you can share that shopping cart, which means any data that has been shopped for from the electrical manager or the salesman working with his customer can actually be dumped in that shopping cart and it can be read back in from the ePlan side. Now, before I go there, I want to show you also an ePlan app that was created for your iPhone or your iPad. And the idea here was to make these 340 parts accessible from directly your iPhone. So as you discuss with your customer, your engineering manager could actually check out if the parts do exist on the portal or not. When they do exist, that means they are ready to be dragged and dropped into ePlan. So if I go into ePlan, let's say we go on a first page here and I check it out. If I want to insert some components, I can jump on the data portal. <coughs> In this data portal here, you can see the shopping cart that was collected from your counterpart or from yourself. So it's one and the same shopping cart if you use the same login name. And here, of course, once you have the component you want, you can check it out in with more details. You can see the description, the um, different specs. You can see what is actually coming with the part itself. And you can say, okay, I want to use this part. Now that I'm using this part, uh, I can simply click here on insert part. And a symbol will be attached to my um, mouse. Now, of course, I'm not in the right area here to actually use it. It would be something that I, I would use more here on an output page. So here you can see these are simple components. They come with actually the symbols. So the, the right symbol pops up right away here. And you can, you can insert that one here. Now, as you continue, uh, you can actually insert the different contacts. You can insert, uh, you know, whatever is remaining on that component. Uh, what happened is ePlan actually imported all that commercial data. That commercial data here, order number, uh, designation, description, etc., was imported and also a specific uh, dimension information. All that information was actually imported into the ePlan parts database so the user doesn't have to create these. So he doesn't have to run around, find these specs, and even better than this, there are some specific documents here that you can actually open from the Rockwell Automation uh, website or some PDFs that could actually be downloaded directly and, and are attached to these. Now, when it comes to more complex components, and we're thinking here of eventually uh, using uh, PowerFlex or PLC components or something like that, then it becomes even more interesting. Look at this PowerFlex that you see here. That one came straight out of the data portal. So again, in the data portal, what I did to find it was a different way is AB underscore N20A, and then I just check it out. 
because I know that pow PowerFlex starts with uh, 20A and some other uh, numbers for the part number, for the order number. And here you can see we have one for 15 amps, one for 30 amps. And if I want to use it, all I have to do is basically just say insert part. Now the interesting part about this data portal is when these components are more complex, ePlan right away comes up with the block. You can see it's attached to my mouse here. And if I zoom in, you will see all the connection designation. Now, if you'd have to create this, it would certainly take you a little bit more time than if you can just drag and drop. That's why I say the data portal makes it drag and drop ready to design. Now, on top of all this is once you have it here, uh, you can modify it. Um, it's not because a specific company gives you a specific block in a certain way that you have to keep it that way. You can actually alter it. Uh, so it's, it's fully customizable. Here, for instance, I have a few blocks like input blocks uh, and, and I inserted them into a, a macro and I customize them to my needs. So this is also very interesting because this enables us to actually get the suggested recommended block macro from the manufacturer and we can adapt it to it, any any uh, interest that we have. So uh, this was a quick introduction to the data portal. This data portal of course enables me also other interfaces that have been created with the manufacturers such as here this one here where we import from RSLogix Architect. The Ar integrated architect builder files are exactly the same so you can actually see more videos on that if you uh, run around uh, looking through the uh, IAB and ePlan interface. So this was the data portal. Uh, it's growing. Over uh, the last year we saw this number go up from 240,000 to 340,000 and it's only a growing uh, portal. Uh, more and more manufacturers uh, take over uh, this portal and make sure that the uh, the, the users, the ePlan users, right now we outnumber 100,000 users across the world and we are present in multiple different countries. So you can see here this is a very interesting way to get your parts out directly to the designers. If the designers can drag and drop, why would they use anything else where they have to create all these parts information? engineering.